Hey guys, today I wanted to share a, uh, a news story with you guys. Now most of you know that I'm not really a news channel here. I don't focus on a lot of Linux and open source news on my YouTube channel. Mainly I focus on reviewing Linux distros, sometimes Linux apps. But today I wanted to share a news article with you, actually a blog from OMG Ubuntu, because this, to me anyway, is one of the most exciting pieces of Linux news in months really in my opinion and that is well let me read the title from the article here from OMG Ubuntu this article was written by Joey Snedden I'll link the article in the description VirtualBox guest editions to be included in Linux kernel that's right the VirtualBox guest editions are going to be included in the Linux kernel starting with kernel 4.16 what does this mean? It means no more having to install the Linux, the uh, VirtualBox guest editions on your host operating system, having to fight with the guest editions to get them working properly in the virtual machine. Uh, you know, having to figure out are you missing any dependencies? You know, reboot the machine. Sometimes reboot the machine several times, uh, playing around with it before you finally get the guest editions working. And this is something you do pretty much every time you install. A virtual machine in VirtualBox. I can't imagine anyone installing an operating system inside VirtualBox and not wanting the guest editions working. I, I, I just can't imagine any, any use case where I'm going to install an operating system in VirtualBox and I don't want the guest editions to work. So pretty much a hundred percent of the time you're gonna want the guest editions to work in VirtualBox. So it makes complete sense have these things included in the Linux kernel so you're good to go again nothing to install you install I mean as far as the guest editions you install your operating system inside VirtualBox boom you got all those guest edition features working out of the box so pretty exciting stuff now some of you are might be unfamiliar with what VirtualBox actually is so let me launch VirtualBox here you guys that watch my channel, every single operating system I review, I install inside VirtualBox. What is VirtualBox? VirtualBox is a virtualization program. It is a uh, hypervisor. Basically, is a, it is a way for you to install an operating system without installing it on your physical machine, without you know, without you know reformatting my actual hard drive and my physical machine over here, you know, wiping my current OS out reinstalling you know a new OS no it, we don't do any of that we install whatever we're, we're reviewing inside a virtual machine so for example I've got all these virtual machines listed here for example this Manjaro KDE virtual machine right here you know I can launch that and all of a sudden Manjaro KDE is gonna be on my screen here you know if I click this one down here Solus you know it will launch Solus all of a sudden Solus operating system will start running you know on this monitor here these are not actually installed on my hard drive you know not not in the uh, traditional sense anyway these are virtual machines if I want to delete this instance of Solus here this virtual machine of Solus I just right click on it and I click remove here and that virtual machine is gone that install of Solus is gone and I have done absolutely no damage at all to my physical machine to my physical hard drive so that is what a virtual machine is that's what virtual box is the guest editions, what are those? They are basically an extra package to VirtualBox that give you some extra features, but they're really basic features you really want anyway. That's, again, why it needs to be included in the Linux kernel. Features such as getting a proper screen resolution. Uh, that's the main feature that matters to me because I do these reviews. If you do not have the VirtualBox guest editions installed, on most of these Linux distros, the largest resolution I can get on many of them is a 1072 width. You know, uh, some of them, the largest width I can get for a resolution is 800, 800 by 600 resolution. That is an extremely small resolution on modern monitors. I mean, it's a very tiny little box I would be reviewing these distros in if I had to deal with that. That's why I always pretty much have to install these guest editions 
Uh, and this, this is something I have to do probably 90% of the time. You know, there are some distros where I don't have to fight with the guest editions at all. Uh, one in particular, Ubuntu, because Ubuntu packages their own kernel, if you will, you know, they, and that particular kernel that they do, they have the virtual box guest editions working out of the box. You never have to worry about the guest editions in Ubuntu. If I uh, fired up a, a virtual machine right now of Ubuntu, full screen resolution, all that stuff just works. But Ubuntu is the exception, not the rule. Most of these distros, they do not work out of the box. You have to install them. And again, it takes, you know, some time, you know, a few minutes. Uh, some of them quite a few minutes because some of these distros, especially the really minimal ones, you know, anything that's a minimal distro or a server distro, it's going to be missing dependencies that VirtualBox guest editions need. And uh, sometimes it's, it's not easy to figure out what those dependencies are. For example, I know for sure you cannot get the VirtualBox guest editions installed on your machine unless you have GCC installed, which is the C compiler. Uh, you have to have make on your machine for it to build the guest editions. You have to have the current Linux headers. Um, and there's there's one or two other dependencies. Perl might be one. I could be wrong about that. But there's there's a few hurdles to jump through to get the guest editions installed on your machine. And if you install a lot of virtual machines, like I do, and that's a lot of work. You know, even if it's just a few minutes for each one of these machine, virtual machines that I install, heck, I've installed probably a hundred virtual machines, you know, in the three months or so that this channel has been up. Just think of all that time that I waste installing the VirtualBox guest editions on every single virtual machine that I install. And I'm not the only one. Again, pretty much anybody that installs an operating system in VirtualBox they're going to want the guest editions installed. It doesn't matter whether it's a desktop distro, a server distro, whatever use case, I can't imagine anyone not wanting the guest editions installed. So again, I'm pretty stoked about this news. So I mentioned that the guest editions get me a full screen resolution. There's actually some other benefits to the guest editions uh, that I don't usually use on camera, but shared folders, sharing a folder from my host operating system to the virtual operating system. So for example, I had something in the documents folder on my main machine, and I want to have that file that's in that documents folder shared with the documents folder in my virtual machine. You can do that if you have the guest editions installed. You can share folders between the real machine and the virtual machine. Uh, also, the guest editions allow some uh, USB devices to work you know, in the virtual machine. Also, uh, get your clipboard working um, and, and a couple of other things. Now, according to Joey here in his article, these are going to be included by default. The guest editions are going to be included by default starting in Linux kernel 4.16, but don't expect everything to work on this initial release in 4.16. In particular, expect uh, maybe shared folders. That particular feature may or may not work in this very first kernel release, but starting with the next kernel, 4.17, they expect to have everything squared away with the guest editions. So very shortly, again, we're going to have the VirtualBox guest editions just working out of the box if you have the latest Linux kernel. In Joey's article, he also mentions that who do we have to thank for this? We have the good folks at Red Hat to thank for this. They spearheaded this effort to get the VirtualBox guest editions included in the kernel. So Joey here mentions that, you know, for those of you that love this bit of news, such as myself, you know, go send uh, those guys at Red Hat some Twitter hearts or some Facebook thumbs. Not a bad idea. Anyway, again, I'm pretty excited about this news. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Peace.